Incoming Winona State University freshmen will be among the first students in the Midwest to be offered a tablet and a laptop. WSU's Digital Life and Learning Program will provide all new Winona State students and their students due for their two-year laptop exchange, an iPad mini or Android-based tablet along with their Mac or PC laptop. Kenneth Jans, Winona State University's Chief Information Officer, said the university has been at the forefront of putting technology into students' hands since the late 1990s. In 1997, we started what we called the laptop program at that time, which we were one of the first in the country to do that, um, giving every student a laptop um, for his or her studies. Um, as we progressed over time, we've noticed the sands are shifting a bit in how people use and consume technology. And so about a year ago, we started piloting the use of tablets throughout our curriculum um, in many different subject areas and it came to the conclusion that this could really add value. So in January of 2013, the Minsky Board of Trustees approved Winona State to add tablets to what we now call our eWarrior Digital Life and Learning Program um, to, for students in their um, studies. And we know we're the first in the Midwest, we probably are the first in the country that is actually providing both laptop and tablet to students. We really are starting to see what we call a three-device world, and what I mean by that is we're seeing um, everyone has a smartphone for that anytime, anywhere, I just need to gather information. And laptops are really good for what we call content creation, to get in there, type a paper. I mean, that would be very hard to do on a tablet or to edit video or to do little sound recordings or to do some heavy-duty kind of statistical analysis. But where the tablet was a wonderful device and when we found this out again and again in our pilot studies it's a great concept content consumption device where ebooks on a laptop are very hard to read are kind of you know trying to read that at night or is very difficult but reading an ebook on a tablet is very natural with that said, we already have 26% of our faculty give a digital textbook option. And in some areas, like psychology, we have faculty members who are using open textbooks. And the reason that's important is instead of paying $150 for a textbook, you're paying nothing. You're getting actually a free textbook, usually created by authors at MIT or Stanford. So they're very good, high quality textbooks. Um, our goal in three years is to have 50% of the textbooks being offered in e-format. Right now it's 26%. We expect that to be around 50% in three years. That's what we've set as a goal working with our Teaching and Learning Technology Services group as how can we kind of impact education and um, how can we reduce costs. Because I know um, I have a daughter in school. I had $350 in textbook fees just for one semester. So textbooks are expensive. And so any way we can find different ways to alleviate that cost, I think that we pass that on um, to parents and students. Just like on our laptop, we let students choose between a Macintosh and now an HP or a Windows-based laptop. We allow students to choose between an iPad or an iOS Apple device and a Samsung Galaxy Tab, which is an Android device, and we allow that choice as well. We think it's important to offer students choice in select programs. The reason we say that is we already, we do have some departments that said you must use an iPad or you must have a Mac. Mass communications is one of those areas um, because um, they're starting to build programming around that specific device. Um, but in other areas, they're kind of what we say OS agnostic. They don't care. They just have the students be able to open a web browser and we can do stuff. And so um, we allow that choice because we see that in the business world and you're, you're going to find many different things and to have the broadest set of skills for students is important. And we found from 94% of our uh, uh, employers that they find the program to have significant impact on their students' technical skills. So we know that employers are recognizing value program. We find that 91% of the students that come here after, um, after their sophomore year, we ask them how the program impact, and they actually say it's provided them an impact in their ability to do work and, and um, enhance their academic success. And so we really think that we don't operate in a vacuum. We really do care about the impact of the program, and we do kind of follow that. And so we think it's important. The mobile tablet device is being provided to students with no increase in current technology costs. 
Incoming freshmen and current juniors will receive tablets with all full-time Winona campus students to have both tablets and laptops by fall of 2014.